I'm looking for an iPad. Ah, yes, the present you seek lies in the spleen of the platter of destruction. We're Ruth and Thomas, an ordinary couple bringing you out of the ordinary date ideas. This month we're getting in the holiday spirit and posting a video every day as we count down to Christmas. So grab your cocoa, light the fire, and join us for Vlogmas. Welcome back to our channel. We are Ruth and Thomas and we come up with unique date ideas. Today is Vlogmas Day 20 and for today's vlog we thought we would give you guys a short and easy date idea that we have just come up with inspired by Mad Libs. If you haven't heard of Mad Libs, it was a game that we played a lot in our childhood where it was just a book of short stories, but every other word or so was omitted and you had to put in your own nouns, adjectives, pronouns, and places. And it would come together to create usually a hilarious story. So we thought, what if we take that idea and instead write our own stories and leave the blanks and come up with the nouns, adjectives, and numbers. So today, Thomas is gonna be writing us a story and asking me for all the filler words. And if that sounds confusing, don't worry. If you just watch, you'll figure it out as we go. You ready for this? Let's do it. So we've got a story. So first I'm gonna need a time of day. Mm, midnight. A holiday. April Fools. A, a car model. Wienermobile. <laughs> Verb in the past tense. Clapped. A farm animal. Llamas. I wanna go to a llama farm. Descriptive word for size. Plump? Sure. Okay. I'm excited to see where this is all going. <laughs> A type of building. A treehouse. Ooh. A present one would give upon a birthday. Hmm. An iPad. An era of time. A millennium. A sea animal. Ooh, a sea animal. I'm gonna go with blobfish. If you don't know what that is, Google it. An island people group. Ooh. New Zealanders. A baked pastry. Croissant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is so long. <laughs> a scary villain name. Platter of destruction. Famous landmark. Taj Mahal. And a virtue. A virtue. Ooh. A virtue. Fortitude. It's a good word. It's a lovely story. It's a lovely tale. Is it a good story? It's a good tale. Are we done? It's a good little tale. Yes. Are you ready for story time with Ruth and Thomas? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Here we go. Twas the midnight before April Fools, where this story begins. In the little town of Wienermobile, there clapped a family of llamas. Now the youngest llama was very close with Harold the shepherd. Spot, he said to the llama, I need you to do something for me. You see in that plump treehouse on the edge of town? Well, the family that lives there gave birth to a disgruntled two-year-old girl. To offer my congratulations, I want to give them an iPad. The problem is that I don't know where one is and I need them to get it before April Fools as April Fools is the most important day of the millennium. Can you help me, Spot? Kaka! squeaked the llama and he started on his journey. Ooh, da da da. He first went to the blobfish market. If anyone knows how to find an iPad, the blobfish lady will be able to help. <laughs> he snorted as clearly as he could. Well, I can't help but the New Zealanders family over there may. Howdy y'all, he shouted as he got near. Aloha, a large man responded. I'm looking for an iPad. Ah yes, the present you seek lies in the spleen of the platter of destruction. So he climbed aboard his little tugboat and set out to sea. The waves were pugnacious, but he made it across safely and descended into the platter of destruction's spleen. 
down, down, down he plunged. Geronimo! And he landed in the volcano. Sure enough, <laughs> there it was, an iPad. So he threw it higher than the Taj Mahal out of the volcano and took his tugboat back across the sea. He then ran as fast as he could past the town, past the Tower of Death, past the fire truck station, and made it to the family, family on the hut, on the butt? <laughs> hill, the family on the hill. That as he climbed, he slipped and fractured the iPad. <gasps> oh no, he was morose. That's okay, the baby responded. The real present is fortitude. The end. <laughs> I like that ending. Though. <laughs> the real present is fortitude. <laughs> wow, that was quite the story. What a saga. Good job, hon. Good story writing. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this really stupid story that we've come up with, and I hope you enjoy making your own stupid stories at home. And if you like what you saw or you'd like to see more fun, unique date ideas from us, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can follow along on all of our episodes, and we will see you tomorrow.